Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... family hello 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 good morning good morning good morning a good afternoon a good evening or whenever you all are looking at this video yes and welcome to my channel if we have any new people that don't know too much about me if you want to learn a little bit about me go to uh, my very first video it is like a welcome to my channel type video telling you a little bit about me and why i do what i do over here at the house okay and i want to say thank you thank you thank you for all of my other family members who've been here with me from day one and who enjoy our channel because everything we see over here ain't nothing but a conversation okay a little kiki here a little kaka there and it's all allegedly so don't get your pennies in a bunch okay or your draws in pause mode okay but let's talk about today let's talk about this let's talk about that let's just have a simple drawn out conversation about our chap our um faux friend um each day is a new day and we start off with him you know and all his professionalism and then his other crap he give us in return okay so it's like a friend a love hate relationship that we have with mr gabadia because we don't know anything about him and we have been trying to vet him and if anybody don't know what vetting is they use it in politics world or the politician world it's just research it's just another fancy word for research and we have been trying to research for portia williams because portia don't really want to do any research she just wants to marry rich live well and go on into the sunset okay um but we do know simon knows her from the real housewives of atlanta yes 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 we know she wrote a book yeah some people say it's a coloring book <laughs> but that's debatable okay i said mm, you know i read it to y'all i got it on a discount price it just is what it is okay if i talk about somebody i, I usually like to try to go and invest in some of their marketing promotion stuff or i give them shine on my channel okay it just is what it is but portia is definitely wanting to marry this liberian african and he we don't know nothing about him portia has somewhat been transparent about her life from meager means to the celebrity hollywood atlanta wood lifestyle so we give her coins for that we give her you know two snaps in a circle we give her um a pass okay just a pass you know ain't saying we on her team we ain't saying we ain't on a team we just somewhere down in the middle and we're looking at both sides and all sides and sometimes we do have to be a little shady sometimes we have to be a little shitty and sometimes we just have to be a hot mess all together and we just be messy okay but that's what family is for right that's what's all in everyone's family a little bit in uh, a little bitty shameness a little bit of messy and a little bit of shit's field that's mix up everybody's family but you know we 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 can and try to take care of our own and since we know portia from her comings and goings her this and her that's and her this third and you know whatever okay but uh yeah those are not her real tattoos i think in her 
other alter ego she likes to have tattoos but that's another hero there but you know we're talking about this man right here who was once married to Fallon Pena okay she was Fallon Gabardia and now she's Fallon Pena she's the ex-wife of Simon Gabardia his third ex-wife okay three strikes and you're out I don't know why Portia want to come up to the plate and think she's going to hit a home run with this joker but you know hey it just is what it is and we thank the shade room uh for bringing out commentary and we are definitely shot Portia had edges back in the day you see what I'm saying but it gave work and get kind of kind of thin but as we see today she's getting like quite bald so we're trying to actually talk to her about being a little bit more careful and a little bit more careful in accepting gifts from people that she really haven't vetted herself she hasn't done a real lot of research but she's going on hearsay and then we have her family members trying to throw her at this man because i think they're getting something on the back end if you know what i mean okay they're getting something on the back end so they actually from portia's mouth she, she said they were actually giving her a date to get married since so she was just you know treading water on the subject so they are supposed to have a date that mama diane and a grandma over there set for her to marry this billionaire millionaire uh and we still haven't yet found anything to that contrary or uh, you know we don't know if it's true we don't know if it's not true he's just at that standstill thing where he wants to show us a little bit of his life here and there but again we still just don't know about simon gabadia who he is what he is why he is and why portia wants to get involved with him but from her mouth to the ears to the masses that is her fiance she plans on marrying him and i guess i can be a little bit more respectful by not calling him her boyfriend or her man until she gets married when she gets married we'll go on and give her the salutations the cheers the wonderful applause of becoming miss gabadia but right now we're going to stick with um yeah he's the glorified boyfriend but um simon 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 you know we have to come at you every kind of way because we are still vetting you over here at the house we don't like some of the things you do we don't like some of the things you say and some of the things you say just don't make hell of a beans it don't it don't really make hell of anything it just don't make sense so we know you're a car connoisseur we know you babysit cars for I don't know companies or individual people I'm still trying to figure out how you can do that in a residential area host all those cars and nobody pays any attention to it or cares about it but you live in a gated community I don't know mm, Prince not think it's so well either and he's not even on this plane of resistance with us but like I say it just is what it is nobody wants Porsche uh, that has the grain of salt to be with you because you know we just like we sensible people over here at the fam and you know we can't and we can't get on her too much of how she was raised how she was brought up but it seems like she was brought up to marry rich come what may however the cookies may drop in play okay but if you have to take somebody else's man that's what she was pretty much taught uh that's what i'm getting you know from her comings and goings because the man was uh, separated at the time I believe going through a rough patch and Portia slid in his DMs of course she tried to say Simon slid in her DMs but he corrected her on point and said no you came over into my DMs and trying to give me a uplifting word here and there while I was going through a tragedy of a mishap of a third divorce okay but like I said until we can completely vet him over here we're just gonna say cheers uh hmm, whatever and we're just gonna wait and see if they show improve and produce to us three uh weddings okay and some of my family members say funeral <laughs> So, I don't know. You know, we always have to be shady over here because that's pretty much what we do. And again, all of this allegedly, we don't know. But when we're looking at pictures, we're looking at things that Simon posts, Portia posts, we just have to ask questions. So, Simon, we're asking some questions this morning. Who is she, Hoppo? Who is she? And do Portia know anything about her? Who is this young lady? Of course, it seems like this was in your heyday. Maybe when you were having your restaurant at the time. I'm not sure and before Fallon Pena came into your life but you know who is these women why are they kissing on you what is the uh 
you know what what is the optics you're trying to give us are these our friends are these our past girlfriends are these past lovers we want to know and we know you got your stalker over there which is Portia Portia did call herself a stalker when she was on the boat and he said I know I know in a little joking manner now we know you play golf here and there and we're still trying to figure out why but then you know I go back into my heyday with my guy cousins and they say they do it for a stress reliever so i was like okay okay and they were married at the time so i'm pretty sure their wives were getting on their nerves or they were getting on their wives nerves i don't know how it was going okay but they love uh golf and they're very avid golfers but they ain't trying to do nothing with it this is conversation and a piece of activity that they can partake in with their brothers you know siblings going out doing things and of that nature and just having fun and like i said um letting out some steam now we do know and i just love i might paint my truck that color when it gets old and you know does it and they need to be repainted but we do know simon likes giving his wives uh presents a, a, a exclusive type presents but we seem to think they're used now he was showing up and showing out with that blue rose horse that he gave Sal, uh, fallon now we don't know about portia because she got a uh, my family member's gonna say use, but you know it is <laughs> it is a Rolls Royce, so I don't know. As long as it has little miles on it, I guess you could still call it new in such a way, if we're looking at it from a man's point of view. But we know he likes giving his wives lucrative gifts, but we don't know if he's borrowing them, begging for them, or uh, leasing them. You know, that's a question we have over here on a daily basis with the family members, and we just be skeptical. But let's see the ladies kissing on Simon, and I'm like Simon. Is this in your heyday? Is this in your past? Do you still have these women in your black book? And do Portia knows about them? Okay, because I'm sharing this with my family today because um, I was just kind of like, ah, Simon, 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 why do I keep finding stuff on you? And I'm the only one coming, bringing things to surface for you to explain. But, you know, like I said, you told the shade room, you told the world that you tend to be attracted to women that are struggling, that are broken, that needs a person like you in their life. And I feel that from a psychology standpoint, that's a cry for help. You are not in the business or shouldn't be in the business of taking care of broken women. Okay. And you seem like there's knight in shining armor trying to rescue them from what Simon from what bad relationships and then you take on a whole little persona of saving them and they tend to get on your nerves but this is what you tend to fall for broken women did you know that Porsche he called you a broken woman yes he did on live Instagram when he was calling himself going live trying to explain his uh, viewpoints on what was happening with his past relationship with his past wife because you'll be number four if you take that leap over that broom with him okay I'm just saying girl mm. but Simon we want to know who is these women and it's one in particular woman that you keep being shown with in uh, these pictures honey that one in the peach but who are these women busy and male who are busy and male and why are y'all at a toyota convention it looks like i don't know was this in the restaurant simon when you had it back in the day i'm just saying what people want to know i want to know the streets are talking the streets are talking do you have these women still in your black book are you still seeing them on the low what is it but like i said this young lady just keeps popping up is this a past relationship is this a past uh, committed relationship? Uh, were you going to make her Mrs. Gabaria and something happened? Or, you know, was this one of your wives and I just haven't been informed? You know, because we know Portia snatched up uh, you when y'all were going through a rough time uh, with your third ex-wife, okay? But you tend to still love giving lucrative gifts. Use gifts at that, but lucrative the same all right and we know did you have help Portia with her pursuit of happiness or the pursuit of Portia did you have anything to do with that hmm because the streets are talking the streets are talking and they're saying that you just want to be on television you want to be known with being with a celebrity married to a celebrity or divorced from a celebrity I, we don't know we don't know because we have to have several drinks when we talk about you when we think about you because you make us ponder 
you make us pause over here to make sure we're getting correct information from you so we can logically deduce any infractions you may or may not have or you still have pending at this time you know everybody wants to come to the glitz and glamour of atlanta i have no idea why maybe because a lot of lucrative people and business people mogul people have moved here and they think this is the next hollywood i don't know but people that really weren't born and raised here and they came here from 2011 on up y'all getting on my nerves y'all have brought too much traffic to our lovely city Oh, but anyway, I have to digress on that because people can move anywhere they want to. All right. But, you know, Marlo, she's out there saying, you know, totally different things. She's saying that, Simon, you, Portia would leave you in a hot flash of a minute if she found somebody better, stronger, richer, richer, richer than you. Okay. She would leave you. So that's something to think about as well, Simon, before you try to jump the African black American broom of marriedhood. Okay. Hmm. I just love that convertible blue. I mean, Rolls Royce. Woo. And then he bought Portia a Mercedes for Mother's Day. And she thinks that's so beautiful. She was so happy. But. Who are these women, Simon? That's what we want to know. Who are these women, baby? Who are they? Are they in your past? Are they in your future? Or are they in your current life at this time? And Portia just knows nothing about it. Was this woman you were going to meet over there when you called yourself going back to Benin and uh, visiting with your mom? Which we saw no effects of you visiting with your mom. No pictures. No um telegrams no poems or anything that you said that would reference you being over there saying about your mom okay we barely see you with your mom only when you were taking us over there with Portia and she was vis visiting your childhood land okay but who is this woman you seem very happy with her you seem very connected was she a uh potential Mrs. Gabadia and she just found out about you and ran for the hills. Tell us, uh, Simon, because this was taken uh, 2007. And you said you started a new job. Well, when you are a CEO, it means you started a new company, not started a new job. So, see, mm, there are flaws in what you're giving us, what you're serving up. And we have questions and we have no answers. And that's what we're seeking to have answers. So, I'm like. Hello, family. Have a little friends. And if you haven't become a family member of the Chanto, please do so. Okay, every time you come in wanting to watch a video, hit that like button. That's the doorbell ringing for me to let you in. Okay, and then you come in and in, cock a squat, get you something from the fridge, get you a soda, get you a, uh, a drink, hot, whatever your beverage of choice. And we sit down with a plate of food or not, and we start having a conversation. Once the conversation has ended, as you're going out the door, we would like for you to subscribe. That's when you're going out the door and you're locking the door back up so i can be safe here inside until your next visit of course all right and then we want you to share when you get in your car and drive away that's just how we do it over here at the family affair okay because we're family over here we talk about shit we get into shit pretty much but it's all new members and all loose peekaboos all these people that just want to come in and see if they want to stay in the house with the family welcome 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 we're glad to have you but there are rules to being over here at the house you have to be respectful to me which is your host your family member okay the one that sets the tone you cannot say anything about me because i am not subject topic unless i put myself out there and usually i'm an open vessel i pretty much tell you pretty much wherever you want to know if i feel i want to tell you okay and um don't get involved with fussing with the family members that have been here prior to you coming okay because that's a quick way quick fast and a hurry way to get blocked and then you have to do these other things with making up another name making up another account and try to come back and then what will happen is i will just immediately block you again okay because over here we are respectful we are respectful 
to our commas and goings and we operate just like a family you don't come in here and being hooping and hollering and saying you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing that no that would get you thrown out and locked out okay now if you come in here and want to have a conversation you want to kind of sway the family members or myself into seeing your perspective as long as you come with good you know energy we can have a dialogue we can have a conversation but if you're coming up here with a full a lot of full of shits in your pocket and you want to hurl earth's insults and this that and the third and ask me why questions why i do what i do evidently you haven't seen my video and i'm gonna pretty much either if i have the time and the energy and i'm in the right frame of mind where i want to just entertain you i'm gonna ask you to go and watch my very 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 first video okay it's in my community tab it tells you a little about me and why i started my youtube channel but if you bypass all of that and you still just want to have your way because you just that type of chick, that type of man, okay, then I will block you. Okay, but since we know the rules, the regulations, and this, that, and the third, and my family will kind of tap you on the shoulder and remind you here and there when you're coming out of pocket. And I might not see your comment at the time, okay, because they don't have the power to dismiss a, a person. But they will let me know. Oh, I got strong connections over here with my family. We are very intelligent. We are low-key of observers and we get shit done okay and we talk we're intelligent we are business makers over here they're entrepreneurs over here and they're very professional people okay and sometimes they don't have a job or anything but they live and act like they got one see that's what we do over here we be styling profiling and observing okay and we can back up anything we say and do all right but that's just a little 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 entertainment and just a a basic information of how we work over here so those are all just for newcomers okay and the ones that want to just sit and, and wonder if they want to be with us we give you time but we just say sit in the bushes sit on the sidelines and don't be disruptive okay but this is what we don't we like Portia over here to a certain degree you know we want to see her do well you know that's with anybody you know what i'm saying but when you come out of pocket you acting out of pocket then we have to get in correction mode mode and come over and do what we do which is put your butt on blast tell you why we feel the way we feel and can you correct your actions if you want to you know what i'm saying because it's just us tapping your shoulder saying baby this is not really how you want to get down this is not how you really want the world to remember you as just like she tried to bring us out Portia's family matters. <laughs> Introducing her glorified boyfriend to the family and letting us know she would be the number fourth wife. Okay, not a good move, not a good play. And we've been on her since. Since it seems like her real family don't give a shit. They just want to throw her in the fire pan and throw her in the fire and get dismissed pretty much. Okay, because they're all seem like I'm thinking users. All right, but it just is what it is. That's what we see. That's what we don't like and that's how some families are users okay but um yeah she's telling us all about you and your comments and goings and we're still trying to vet you over here we're still trying to do our research because her family members are not okay they just take you with a grain of salt they just welcome you open arms to their family they don't want to look into your past they don't want to ask you prevalent uh, key points of your life and how you come and go and make your money okay they are throwing all that to the caution of the wind and hopefully it uh, plays out real fair and in their favor but technically they're just looking at you because you're a billionaire you're a billionaire you're a millionaire or i don't know okay it's still question but we still don't know anything about your network okay because while you're over here saying you uh, started your new job at the petroleum company uh a ceo just don't start they build okay and when they get taken down they rebuild you see what i'm saying that's black power that's black audience that's lucrative black dripping all right but it just is what it is and we still like i said trying to find out as much as we can about him all right because he's coming off as a lovable saving itches or females out of uh i guess from themselves he's like the knight in shining armor that show up and show out but like i said mm, behind that grin behind that uh business persona 
we will find the real Simon who the real Simon is. And it might just be a scared little boy. But uh, like I said, he has a golf club. Like he owns the golf world. <laughs> okay. And he's in his 60s. And he's just not faring well with letting us know who he is and what he's all about. All right. Yeah. And my Prince visuals, we're looking like, mm, mm, no, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Like I love it. Got to have more. Okay. We just want y'all to get in those comments, dialogue, and I will be down there with, with you shortly. Um, just trying to see what y'all saying here and there, there and here and uh trying to uh find out a little bit more but you know like i said um um one of my family members lena she tripped me out with this post she had said well i hope these shenanigans that grandma taught miss diane and miss diane passed on to portia i want this to stop before it passed on to pj to do all these things god help and i thought that was just very explosive very powerful and i want to thank my family member lena for putting that in the chat section because girl you said a mouthful that's just like a generational curse that just keeps on giving and keeps on going for the negative but like i said one thing that pj does have she has a, a father that is grounded and rooted into working hard giving back to the community showing up and showing out for the community and he has lucrative business streams going on and everybody likes him in the community he could run and i'm talking about dennis mckinley that's her dad uh if he wanted to run for office we would vote for him okay just on his background and how he tries to do things in the community and he admits when he's wrong okay that's something that portia and simon don't seem to get or care about he has morals he has uh ethics uh working for him and um, that doesn't, we can't say the same about Portia and um, Simon Gabadi. Okay, and he comes from good stock. He comes from a mother who had to make it do what it do. You know, she had, I, I'm assuming, because they're not telling me anything different. Um, Mama Jean had to raise her son by herself. And with family members, of course. And with the Lord's help being the first and foremost uh entity that helped her do what she made it do with having that baby and 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 giving him responsibility and showing improving and being a strong black man as well as a strong entrepreneur out there leaving a legacy so we can just count on that side of the family to help pj because her mom's side of the family shows us how they get down and how they use black men for their own um um deeds i guess you would say for lack of a better word and we know they like to party they like to play with the big dogs and they like to be seen and they like to spend money and all that is a recipe uh for losing everything hold on one minute guys uh-huh okay i'll be there okay but uh, my mom's calling me for breakfast now so i think i really must go and i will see you guys on the next video but de definitely uh, send me commentary a lot of my family members have done so already and i can sit and look and i try to piece together or what can i say about what they do send me and then i bring it home to the family at large and we all have a conversation about the comings and goings of things that do happen in atlanta georgia <laughs> I'm just saying with the rich and famous with the people that are movers and shakers and the fakers okay but um that was uh, one of the stories that was trending today and i'll be back uh what do you call it here and there throughout the day dropping out videos for y'all to partake of y'all but love you blessings to each and every one of y'all and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye